Hey you guys, how's it going? It's Beginnings here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far, and happy Friday to most of you. Today's video is going to be on Crushed with Punish, as you can see from the fact that the build has, I think it's called Milk Cleaver in it. Uh, so I don't usually uh, upgrade into Null Cleaver uh, unless I really have to. Like if I'm against something like Superman, then it's pretty good. Or even something like Talanis that is really immobile and the Punish can help me uh, chase them down. Level one, uh, we are starting on the opposite side of our jungler just to make sure that they don't invade. And because I want to invade their blue buff, the enemy jungler is a Zill, so I know he will be starting blue. If he does not, his entire clear is kind of messed up. Uh, he does get his blue, and so I kind of have to back off for a little bit, especially since I see Crixie come in. But Crixie misses her knockup, so I can go ahead and jump in, smite that camp, and run away with no punishment at all. Crixie will not do anything to stop me. Zill himself does not have very much CC either. Up next, we're just going to go ahead and rotate to the opposite side of the jungle and contest every single one of his camps that we can. Unfortunately, he does get that camp with an auto attack. It was very close. That sucked. I'm kind of salty about it. Instead of finishing his red, Zill jumps onto me, but he didn't jump far enough to reset the red. So I will just go ahead and use my first ability and punish to make sure that I can secure that red buff. I ran down instead of up. I probably should, or rather up instead of down. I definitely should have ran down. Instead, I had Tulin to back me up. Wukong does flicker for me and I tried to knock him back, but I guess the animation of his enhanced auto attack uh, went through the knockup because I definitely did damage to him. I should have just ran away or jumped away and then used my A if necessary. Definitely a misplay on my part. Uh, so we can see that it is now two minutes and Zill still is not level four. I'm just gonna go ahead and help the Tulin clear this mid wave so we can rotate down for Dragon, but my Crick Neck decides to go topside instead. And this is an example of a game where <laughs> we basically win with no dragons. All we do is we live in the enemy's jungle. Uh, Tulin beats Crixie pretty hard, so we almost always have priority here. Uh, the only issue is that Talanis keeps rotating up. And uh, yeah, it puts us in pretty awkward situations because we cannot do anything to stop the Talanis. I walk back up. Uh, as my jump is coming back up, so I can just go ahead and run away to safety. Zill loses vision of me, so he cannot ult me. I go ahead and pop my first ability to knock him back to make sure he is CC'd and cannot ult me. And we're just going to go ahead and back up. We see that Wukong did rotate down, uh, as well as Yenna. Uh, uh, the Zill does get a pretty nice ult onto the Kricknack, and he gets really low. Yenna gets really low as well. I use my knockback to make sure that they stop chasing Kricknack, and I happen to hit the Lumber, who's also coming up to ult as well. I hit level 4, I jump in, I pop my ultimate, I get a pretty nice 2-man ult, and we will get the kill onto both of them. That was a 4-4-1. Four, four, that was a pretty good fight, if I do say so myself. And I know that Zill's red is up, so I'm just going to immediately run over and ping for help. Um, I can solo this, but it would take a while, and I know Zill is going to end up on this side of the map because his entire bot side is gone. I just go ahead and smite it a little bit early there to make sure my teammate can get it because it's not really much use on me. I start the Sentinel, but then I see that the Lumber is there, and I know Zill is going to be around soon, and there he is, so I'm just going to go ahead and back up and reset. Uh, so we know Zillus on top side, that means that they cannot threaten to take Dragon. And they might be able to take Sentinel, but I just pulled it, so it's going to take them a little bit longer than usual. And Crickneck is ending up on bot side, so we can potentially uh, get a gank off there when he finishes his clear. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and try to build up as much rage as possible, so my rate, or so my ultimate rather, is up as quickly as possible once again. I just go ahead and camp at the blue buff. Unfortunately, Tulin walks up and kind of scares off the Zill, uh, but we he does get the camp, which is good. I don't have to use my punish. Uh, I have my ultimate up. I'm just kind of trying to bait out abilities. Like right there, I see Crixie used her knockup and Crickknack is coming in. So I go ahead and ult. I get the blue buff with my ultimate and a two-man ult on top of that. We can definitely chase down this Talanus as well. That was a pretty nice little crit and uh, Lumber is forced to use his heal. 
<coughs> the entire enemy team shows up, like including the Wukong. It doesn't really help them though. Uh, my Kirknack and Tulin had to back out because they were really low, but Joker did rotate, so we were able to secure the kill onto the Wukong. And of course, we will take that small camp as well. Uh, all we're trying to do is deny the enemy jungle as much farm as possible. Which is something that you should always be doing, really. But it's especially easy to do when you're running Crushed with Punish as a support. Uh, right now, just trying to uh, get as much rage as possible. I jump. I punished that red camp because I wanted to make sure that we got it and not the enemy team. Uh, I am also uh, just trying to zone. Uh, you noticed I wasn't attacking the red buff because I don't really do damage to it, right? I, I jumped forward and I gave my Yenna space to finish the red buff. Um, and also by not hitting them from the buff, I do not give them any vision. Uh, <clears throat> so Zill's jungle is gone. He can only clear mid and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and rotate bot with my mid laner uh, because I want to take as many camps as possible. I know his blue side is going to be the next set of camps up. So we're just going to go ahead and take that small camp. Uh, unfortunately, I guess he has a little bit of an iframe at the end of his ultimate, so my ult doesn't tag him. Uh, we get <laughs> the Talanus' flicker out here because Joker is following me up. Uh, so uh, with Zill dead, uh, Talanus flickering away, Wukong's dead as well, uh, and Lumber's not going to do anything. We're just going to go ahead and take the camps. Kricknack just one shot to that Crixie. It's not looking good for the enemy team at all anymore. Their jungler has, I think, like the second least gold on their team he's having a rough time you can see wukong has talked a few times in the chat kind of flaming him definitely unnecessary poor guy i try to help out this joker uh and i think he end up ends up living oh nope just kidding he gets one shot by the wukong after uh but it's okay because we killed both of them in fact our tulin even got the kill onto the talanus so that is a three for one and we can secure this bot tower as well this, this game is all about good trades, right? Uh, we definitely should push up mid. Our Dark Slayer laner probably should have rotated, but you can see that she is camping because she wants to get a pick. Uh, although they do have two showing on the map, maybe she's hoping Zill will walk into her. Uh, but Zill does not walk into her. She decides to chase the Zill instead, and it looks like or I'm sure she got plenty of damage off. We're just going to go ahead and take these small camps as they respawn. Uh, I think Zill ends up getting this one. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, he punishes us instead of the camp, though, which is kind of funny. Crixie's around, so I don't want to commit too much. I have my jump up. I have my ring up. I know that uh, I am not going to be able to do too much here, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump away. Uh, really just biding my time, waiting for that blue buff to come up. Uh... I, and when Zill is messing around with me, he's not helping his team, right? I go ahead and pop my ult because I know he's camping. My Kricknack gets the uh, blue buff, and unfortunately, that Talanus ultimate really screwed us. It stunned us both, so Zill was able to get his ultimate off. But my team does collapse. They get the kill onto the Wukong, and they will be able to get the kill onto the Lumber, and then the Talanus. Uh, really nice cleanup and follow-up coming from my team while Yena was pushing down mid, meaning that we are able to secure the mid tower on top of those three kills. Like I mentioned before, this game is going amazing. In fact, I think they end up surrendering right now. That's how much we were punishing them in their jungle. I'm just going to go ahead and walk up, and I know his red side is going to be the next side of camps up. So I go ahead and head over, but then I see that the enemy surrenders. So that is game uh this was a really short game but it was really fun it was kind of like textbook crushed punish and that's why i wanted to upload it i hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as i did making this video please be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and i will see you guys next time see ya